How to make a door wedge. Why use door wedges or door stops? A door stop or door wedge is an inexpensive object or device used to hold a door open or closed or to prevent a door swinging back and forth causing noise or damage to your walls. A door stop can be a small wedge of wood that is placed into position under the door to prevent the door from moving. This wedge does not need to be anything sophisticated, just a piece of scrap wood made to the correct shape and dimensions. In this video we will show you how to do this. What you will need. A scrap piece of wood, a vise, a saw, a file, some sandpaper, a pencil, a ruler or straight edge and a tape measure. Step 1. Measure the gap under the door. First of all, you need to pull the door open and measure the size of the gap underneath your door. You need to get a ruler and tape measure and quickly measure the size of the gap which needs to be filled with the wedge. The average door wedge dimensions are as follows. Length 15cm by a width of 5cm by a height of 4cm. And alter it to the size of your door. Step 2. Selecting your wood. Now you need to find some scrap wood to make the wedge or door stop with. Anything will do as you can file and sand it down after you have cut it to make it more presentable. Just make sure it has the correct dimensions for the gap under your door. Step 3. Mark out your measurements. All you need to do now is measure the height of the wedge and its length so it is suitable for your door. Then draw a square line on both faces of the wood marking out the length. Try and make as many wedges out of the same piece of wood so there is no waste. A simple method is to draw the length you need and then draw a diagonal line on your piece of wood marking out two potential door stops. See the picture on the right. Using just one cut with the saw saving time and effort. Step 4. Start to saw. Now you need to saw along the drawn line and get your two wedges. Start slowly and make a good guideline with the first cut, making sure you saw lightly. From here simply carry on cutting through the wood until you have sawn through the diagonal line completely. You will then have to cross cut the two wedges free, as shown in the following pictures. Step 5. File and smooth the finish. You need to inspect the cut and file and smooth off any rough edges made by the saw. You can use a wood file or some sandpaper for this. Again, you can spend as much time as you want making the wedge presentable. You can even paint or varnish it, depending on your taste. Warning. 1. Never wedge doors closed, as this can cause a hazard in case of a fire. 2. Always ensure door wedges are away from main walkways, because misplaced door wedges can be a trip hazard. 3. Avoid doorstop use, such as wedges or weights, for holding open fire and smoke doors.